Okay, so we've gone through the background and information for the chart of accounts and now you have your QuickBooks company file open and you want to um, set up your company chart of accounts and use or not use the account numbering system. So to determine the status of the chart of accounts you can get to the chart of accounts from two different ways. One, you can come here to your chart of accounts area under the company section. Two, you can go under list and choose chart of accounts here. Let's just click on chart of accounts from the main home screen. Here you can see all of the accounts that have been set up for this company. And there's no numbers assigned to them. The account types you can see here, and some the balance sheet accounts will have balances. So let's look at this checking account. Right click it and choose Edit Account. And here you'll see that there is no numbering option available. Okay, so that tells us that we need to activate this. So we go under Edit, go under Preferences come to accounting, the company preferences, and then choose use account numbers. Say OK. And now QuickBooks will default assign account numbers to some of these accounts. Now we can go to checking, edit checking, and now you'll see the area for an account number. keeping in with our uh, chart of accounts. If we're going to do a simple account numbering, say three digits, then maybe we assign checking to 101. One. Say save and closed. And now you see checking is 101. One. But suppose there were multiple locations and or departments and following a chart of accounts numbering system suppose you said well I want to be able to run reports and track by location and department so 101 may be the checking account number and then 400 would be the location number and then the department number may be an additional amount. Or maybe it's just two digits. Maybe 101 means checking account and the number 2 is located associated with the number 2 location and then 5 is the number associated with the department. You could break these up by putting hyphens in between them. Now you have your 101-25. You can also um, edit it so that checking becomes the main account and then you can create a new account as a sub account. You could say um, location 2. You have to say this is a sub account of checking. Okay, so now I have a location to under checking. So I have a uh, location one. Sub account. I 
Okay, so now I have location one and location two. Now, even though these items are set up as individual locations, the transactions will still come from this main checking account. And that concludes the tutorial on QuickBooks and Chart of Accounts.